Hi Aquarius, it's Elle here to do your daily reading. Thank you for being here. Thank you for liking, sharing, commenting, and subscribing to the channel. It is much appreciated. All links are below if you need to get in contact with me. Let's get into it. Thank you God for blessing Aquarius with a clear, concise message from you. All right, so something is, I don't know if you been set free or you're being freed up if it resonates it resonates right just like running free something wild uh, maybe your wildest dreams i don't know um let's see what's going on for aquarius we're going to start with career and finance and then we'll take it into love i know a lot of people want to know about career and finance a lot of aquarius are uh doing a lot of different things embarking on a lot of things and you know it really involves finance all right so page of wands so some of you yeah you're trying to do something maybe like a passion project get a promotion get a new job start a new business start a new career here with the page of wands coming up for you aquarius this is doing something you know living life on your own terms maybe wild or wildest dreams or um, free freed up time or something of that nature. This is exploring now you have time to explore what it is you are passionate about or you're trying to explore this here. It looks like good news an opportunity um, good news about an endeavor that you have started about a promotion about a job about the new start of a business. Um, this also could be a large sum of money coming to you something that frees you up allows you to do something how you want to do it your way all right what else do we have for career and finance this is also you so before this you were kind of like on autopilot doing something maybe going to work or going to uh, your business you just didn't know where you were going to land and now you're getting good news of maybe going in a new direction or starting something new or maybe bringing something new into your business or your career or a new job a new promotion or something like that but it was like before it was like you felt like you were you weren't gonna get what you were looking for you didn't know where you were going or something was without direction it was kind of burdensome you were on autopilot you just kept showing up some of you you just kept carrying the the burden the load also some of you were working off karma too it was like you needed to do this you needed to learn also there's some lesson in this about just showing up and not knowing where you're going to land you know exactly but just showing up and trusting and having faith you felt like you were being taken for granted but now it's like the you're going to come out with a renewed sense of yourself you know because it, maybe even self-worth because you kept at it you kept doing something you kept showing up all right so career and finance for the aquarius you have the devil card all right so um some of you are going to face your fears here you fear something you fear maybe um losing something you fear being extravagant you fear making the wrong choice going down the wrong path um yeah you feel you fear being kind of stuck or trapped some of you just fear making the wrong choice you don't know if you're doing the right thing um there's doubt associated with this there's codependency maybe you feel dependent upon your job and maybe but you want to start something new or you want to do something independent you know the magician it's like uh fear manifestation some of you fear it's not going to happen some of you fear that you're going to get what you manifest and maybe you'll fumble it or you, you you'll stumble or you don't know um what to do what is this devil card here so it it, it really is like toxicity like and it could even be a, a toxic relationship that you have with fortune fame money okay um what is the devil card the fool card yeah you fear this new beginning you fear 
taking this leap of faith, stepping out on your own, being independent, following your dream. Even if others say, oh, that's just a pipe dream. Oh, it'll never work. You fear following your heart. You fear this. But there's, but the universe is saying there's a bit of beginner's luck associated with you taking this leap of faith. So they have you. The universe has you. They have your back. It says, um, do so. It also is like, do, do so. Go in this new direction, not knowing. You have a plan, but you don't know exactly how the universe is going to show up for you. You don't need to know the ins and the outs of how universe god spirit is going to show up for you you just need to know that you have to show up for you what is the magician what is the magician for the aquarius so you're like channeling you're getting a lot of good thoughts you know they're coming straight from the divine about maybe a new business bringing something into fruition institution you had a six of swords so it's like moving past this moving past the bad choices that you made in the past okay maybe you weren't great with your money maybe you had opportunity you stumbled you fumbled it you didn't do right you didn't show up for it uh you squandered your money uh, you squandered your time you were a procrastinator you had a horrible work ethic whatever it may have been um, maybe you spent your money on other people or other things you didn't put you first it says move past this you know, you, you can't keep thinking about this. Um, a brighter day, an easier time, a more peaceful, calm time, a, harm, a harmonious time in your life is showing up for you. Some of you just, you fear that you're just going to, it's just not going to work. What advice do we have for the Aquarius moving forward? You have the Hierophant. All right, so you, you need to have structure, regimen routine and you need to set the stage status quo what will it be like you also are going to be in a leadership position so the people that you lead or are leading and they're going to follow you so you have to you know um you have to show up here also surround yourself by like around like-minded individuals if you're trying to start a business but you're around a whole bunch of people who only gone to a job not even a career but gone to a job their entire life you guys are going to be speaking different languages and it's always going to be conflict okay um the advice here also in in the hierophant is knowledge you know knowledge get knowledge if, if you are finding yourself at a temporary standstill or at a, at a standstill just do know that it's temporary just get knowledge about about whatever it is you're doing, then you'll be more confident in moving forward. But as long as you don't have that knowledge, then you're you're stuck. It's like someone asking you, hey, do you feel uh, like you can um, fly this airplane? You say, well, I don't feel confident flying the airplane. And you say, well, they say, well, why? You say, because I don't have knowledge of how to fly an airplane therefore confidence and knowledge are kind of um you know they're related you know it's a direct correlation if you don't know how to do something you don't feel confident so you don't have you have lack of confidence so you're gonna have to gain some knowledge about maybe leadership taking the lead uh setting the uh tone Set making something the status quo for whatever it is you do, um, and you're going to have to be traditional, firm, and um, yeah, traditional and firm. You also you can have a lot of people following you, Aquarius. You can have a lot of people following you, so you gotta yeah, you gotta know how 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 you're what kind of leader you're going to be. What else is advice for the Aquarius? Came out reverse, Five of Pentacles. You, you're never going to be in a place of lack or you shouldn't be in a place of lack because you should confidently know how to fill in the blank, what to do when you fill in the blank, you know. So this is about if you want to get your confidence level up, increase your knowledge. You know, um, that's just, it's just that simple. 
Uh, wow. Advice for Aquarius, the Nine of Pentacles. It's like you're, you're definitely going to be a boss or an owner. You have an idea of doing your own thing or working independently. It's going to work out for you. You're definitely going to go from one dynamic to the next. So that could be from being employed to now your employer, a business owner from, you know, maybe you're going to go backwards, business owner to employee, but it's not a backwards move. Maybe you'll make more money. Maybe, maybe, maybe you'll have less stress, you know? Um, but it's like with the death card is something is dying, like completely one dynamic to the next, like life and death are dynamics. Like, um, you know, life or death, either you're dead or you're alive, you know, and that's what, what the death card is about. It's not about, you know, a physical death, not always. It can indicate that, but not in a general reading. Okay. Um, so it's like something is dying Aquarius, this lack mentality, this lack mindset, this, you know, being fearful of not having enough, or you're going to be put out or you're going to be, you know, destitute or homeless or whatever. That's no more. That does not exist. The universe wants you to know the scythe is here. So this, in this, this, uh, skeleton or this, uh, the bringer of death with his scythe is coming to cut that way out of that way that you used to exist out of your life. You're not going to be that way anymore. Yeah. It's going to be, you know, for a lot of you fortune after a difficult time, a difficult period in your life, you've again, like I said, something about karma, working something off for a lot of you, you've worked it off. Now it's time for you to have your day, you know, in the sun, um, the summertime in your life where everything is blooming, bright, growing, blossoming, open, growth again, the empress. It's like, you need to change your personality or there needs to be a change in personality that uh, needs to happen for you. This also talks about learning knowledge so that you can have victory, you know, so that you can have success so that you do make the right choices because the six is about a choice so that you do make the choice um, that allows you to prevail, to be the victor. You're going to have money coming into you. You've been very prudent with where you put your money also. Uh, you've been doing something over and over again, or you will be in a, this is like new business, maybe even help in business or, um, but you would have to do something over and over again to get it, you know, to a state of, um, just working where it's autonomous. Keep your plans to yourself. Also, maybe your plans of expanding, buying something, um, taking something global or I heard franchise keep your plans to yourself uh, everybody's not happy for you if you are waiting for a yes answer or something in terms of the courts the justice card uh, it's going to turn out in your favor especially you get the lawyer card kind of showing up or somebody in a legal profession or police military it's more waiting, but do know that a miracle is going to happen for you and work in your favor. Something about wildest dreams. Don't procrastinate, but do your research, your homework before you part with your money, Aquarius. Yeah, don't be quick. Wow. Because some, some of you are going to get, whoa, whoa, whoa. I just, this is big, Aquarius. Let's see why they wanted money first. The Knight of Swords, Ten of Pentacles, Ace of Pentacles, Knight of Pentacles, and the Four of Pentacles. It's just money, money, money. A lot of people don't. This card indicates, like, um, this talks about newfound wealth. You know, having a large sum of money, and you want to maintain it. You want to hold on to it. But don't be like that one story from the 
the Christian Bible where it talks about, you know, um, Jesus talks about the parable of the men getting, you know, their lot or their inheritance and one going and investing and one going and burying it in the ground. And you can't do nothing and you can't just hold on to it. You have to let um, money work for you and grow. It is energy. So let it circulate. Some of you are going to get a large sum of money. The Ace of Pentacles talks about wealth. Okay. Opportunity, abundance, a large sum of money. Of course, the Ten of Pentacles. Again, inheritance, large sum of money, the transference of wealth. So some, your wealth is coming from something else or somewhere else. And it's coming fast. Something's going to be profitable or you need to engage in something that is profitable. You also need to be like a bulldog over your money, watching it, making sure you're not taking advantage of. You need to make sure all I's are dotted and all T's are crossed. You need to be hardworking, diligent, devoted, and dedicated to whatever you put your hand to, whatever your work or your deed is. That's so, that's a, this is a lot of money, Aquarius. You, either the opportunity to make this type of money, this money will be, you know, um, transferred to you. And also with the transference of wealth, it's like in the Christian Bible, it always, t it talks about, you know, um, the wealth of the wicked is laid up for the righteous. So it was like right now, a lot of good, righteous, upright people, people who are just on the side of right, whatever you want to define that as, um, they're getting a lot of money. You know, the wicked, the evil, they have had it, you know, the money for a long time. Now it's the, the wheel turning, the wheel of fortune. And somebody's always on the bad side of the wheel. And there's some people always on the good side. And it looks like the universe is really turning in um, definitely the Aquarius favor. Some of you could have two different, you're going to have financial security, but you could have two different ways that you make money. Eventually one is going to dominate the other. Yeah. You, you're going to, this is also being so busy. This is going to be, you know, sometimes it talks about collapsing under the weight of your own success. So imagine that you get so successful that you are just stressed the hell out. You know? Wow. And it, it definitely life is going to go at a fast pace. You know, things are going to just be whizzing by you. Things are going to really um, be working out for you. People are going to see you too. This is um, a lot happening in a short amount of time too. Some of you are afraid that you're going to make the wrong decision in terms of your money and then some... You're going to be down this karmic road of trying to, you know, unravel yourself. But no, some of you are going to, you're going to have so much and so much to do. You're going to be tired. <laughs> you're just going to have, everybody's going to be at you, you know. Um, Again, another card of collapse. Um you're so fearful of this, but the universe wants you to know that this time in your life, you could be seeing 10, 10, a lot is over. You know, that time in your life is over. You got both, all four of the tens, you get the 10 of cups coming out, the 10 of pentacles, 10 of swords, 10 of wands. So it's like that time in your life is over. It is done. You're now having your time in the sun. It's going to be so much going on around you, Aquarius. It looks like a lot of partnerships. You got to be proactive in who you partner with or who you tell your business to or where you put your money. You might have to transfer some money because people could be trying to steal from you. This talks about theft, identity theft. This talks about transferring. It talks about change. This talks about partnership. So does this one. Um, partnership, decision, change, be proactive. People that kept situations with you up in the air, whether it was friendship, 
whether it was romantic, whatever it may have been, if they kept you always wondering where you stood in their life, if they kept you, you know, kind of like um, on the outs or just not knowing where where you stood with them or if you could ask for help with, for, from them or if the door was open, if, you, if they always brought doubt and wonder, the cards are saying, keep that energy away from you. Um, be defensive because you're going to have a, a lot of eyes on you. A lot of people wanting to now either resurface, rekindle, reconcile. They want forgiveness, but they could be coming to be a destructive influence. They're not coming to construct with you. They're coming to take theft also. That's what I have for money. We spent a lot of time. We spent 20 minutes on money, so... We're not going to spend that much time on love. Let's see what's going on for love for Aquarius. Pull the soulmate deck. So those of you who always talk about, oh, I want to know about money. So there you are. There you have it. I hope that it resonates for you. So let's see. Um, love. Never give up on something you really want. Some of you, I think you got this last time for love. Some of you want somebody, okay? It, your heart tells you one thing your mind tells you another so you're confused and in the state of confusion you don't make choices you don't make decisions or you don't make very good ones so to come out of confusion is is to really um, weigh the pros and the cons write things down don't just have it in your mind write it down get a piece of paper out write the person's name on the top of the paper then write pros, underline it, write cons, underline it, and start to write the pros and the cons of this person. See, when you put stuff before you, you have it out before your eyes, before you, you know, right before you, you can no longer come back with it. You can no longer fight it. You can no longer, you know, wish it away. It's right before you. It's right before your eyes. But as long as it's up in your head and you're trying to make excuses for it and you know, you have one bad thought and then you have 10 different lovely thoughts of this person, the, that's the confusion. But once you get it down on paper, you really come out of that confusion, you know, because you can't fight it then. And it's, that's, it's very therapeutic too. And this could be for love, it could be for career, it can be for anything. Weigh the pros and the cons. And the only way you do that is by getting out of your head, you know. All right, so let's see, what do we have for love? So some of you just, you want somebody, or right? you want them, but it, you're confused. Yeah, release your worries and receive universal abundance. Okay, so um, it's like the universe is really trying to help you in your love life. It's like you, you're worried too much for some of you. I heard you're worried about timing. Like maybe you feel like you, your time has passed. The hottest love has the coldest end. So yeah, there was like an end here for some of you still want this person. You need to release all of these worries that you have about this connection. If it's going to happen, it's going to happen. If it's not, it's not. The only way through is through, go through it. Stop running from it because you don't want to feel the hurt or you don't want to feel the rejection or you don't want to feel the pain. Maybe on the other, other side of pain, it's gain, it's love, it's everything that you wanted, but maybe you have to go through this. You know, the only way through is through so just go through it um some relationship could have ended for some of you let's see yeah the more loving care you give yourself the more love you have to give to others so for some of you you just you just keep giving 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 depleting yourself how can you give something that you don't have any of if someone comes to you and says give me um give me canned goods you don't have any canned goods in your home you don't purchase canned goods you purchase fresh fruits and vegetables you can't give them what you don't have if you're trying to give love but you don't have any to, even for yourself you, you're depleted you're without if you're on zero you can't give that you know you can give something else but it ain't love because you don't love you first so give you love what does that look like? Um, 
that looks like uh, being devoted to you, being committed to you. A lot of you don't even know you and what you're about and what you really want. So this is a foreign conversation for some of you. So it's like you need to come out of dating and date yourself. Um, yeah, love yourself as much as you want your soulmate to love you. Like you got two cards about loving you and loving yourself. It's like you just keep giving, giving, giving in hopes that people will give back. But you want them to give back in the measure or the same measure or, you know, um, similar measure that you gave. But everybody doesn't show love the same way. And then also sometimes when people know there's a deficit within you, they know that you're giving from a place of depletion or a place of desperation. Um, they don't take it serious. They could, they'll take what you're giving. But they don't take it serious. It's not valuable because you're desperate. You know, so for some of you, not all, you know, make sure you're not giving from a place of desperation. What does desperation look like? It looks like um, giving even before someone has um, earned your trust. You need to learn that, you know, you don't just give and someone has not earned your your devotion, your trust. And you can't say, well, I'm, I'm just a giving person. You'll always be a person taken advantage of, too, especially by people who take advantage of people for in this life there is and there will always be prey and predator you've got to determine which side you're on and we both have both of those capacities within in within ourselves because at times we need to be the predator we need to survive um and at times sometimes we're the prey because we're, we're putting ourselves out there on the platter so you got to know when to protect yourself and when to be vulnerable. Some of you are just way too open, way too giving to the point where you have been taken advantage of. And also sometimes people are, I'm getting that sometimes these people that you give so much to, they say, mm, in their mind, they say this, um, wow, they give so much, so fast, so quick. Mm, they probably do this with everyone. I'm not going to take this serious. Yeah, I'll take everything that they have to give, but I'm not going to take them serious because if you, if everybody gets you or gets a significant part of you or everybody gets the same preferential treatment, right? Then it's not valuable. You know, when where it should be levels to this not saying that you should go around disrespecting or disregarding anyone but you have to let time be the indicator you know because in time people will tell you who they really are and you'll realize oh I'm so happy I did not give as much I'm happy that I was not vulnerable with this person because you know now I know um, so that whole spiel was for somebody. I hope you took something from it. Last card for love. Yep. When you meet your soulmate, you'll feel calm, no anxiety, no agitation. Right. So I guess the cards speak for itself. Yeah. At the bottom of the deck, we got harmony is pure love for love is complete agreement. I love this card because it talks about harmony. When you harmonize with, you know, with anything or let's just take singing, for example, you're on the same chord or the same, same uh, tune or same wavelength. You know, you're not, you're not on different wavelengths. You're, you're not, this person is here and then you're there. No, you're on the same, right? Um, and that's what uh, love is, is pure agreement, you know, it, what pure love is complete agreement you know you completely agree it's not now does that mean that you're you don't have disagreements like you know about well I want you know chicken tonight and you want shrimp whatever y yes you'll have uh, disagreements like that but in terms of how the relationship will manifest and unfold you'll be in agreement and you'll harmonize with one another you won't have to pull this person along or string them along to in hopes that they'll come up to your level or they'll come down to your level. You know, when you just don't agree, you don't agree. When you want two different things, you want two different things. Don't stick around hoping that this person will change their mind. 
because then you've wasted time. And that's the only thing in this life we cannot get back. But if you do have a time machine, let me know. I will, I will show up. Um, so keep that in mind. Don't waste what is precious and what is precious is your time. All right. Um, oh, okay. Let's take a look here. All right. So Amira, uh, it, whoa, so it's kind of flipped out. So work, maybe you can meet someone through work. Some relationship you were in was hard work. Yep. Cause it was a triangle. Maybe somebody was keeping you there because of money or you were giving someone money. You know, uh, yeah, this person was dating a lot of people. Maybe you were throwing money at this person, Aquarius. Something about past life. It's like maybe this is a past, past life energy. Like maybe in your past life you knew each other and it was the same old bullshit. Yep, twin flame. Uh, maybe this is a twin flame like journey here. Uh, maybe somebody hasn't chosen that that route yet you know so about pure love is complete agreement harmony is pure love and for love is complete agreement so you can say oh that's my twin flame you know whatever you subscribe to right but if the other person isn't yelling oh that's my twin flame then it's only one person saying that they're on a twin flame journey therefore it's disharmony it's not complete agreement. So two people have to choose this journey. And what makes it hard work is when someone doesn't choose. One party doesn't choose and the other person is, is choosing. So that's that for you. Um, yeah, yeah. Fall in love when you're ready and not when you're lonely. For some of you, that whole spiel I gave about making people earn trust and devotion. Some of you just desperate. You could have been dealing with somebody who was just not taking anything serious. Like she was open or he was open to take everything that you were given, but they didn't value it. This person here values themselves, beauty, fashion, just life. They're in that place. And they don't have to be young. They could be old, but have this old, outdated mentality. They just haven't grown up. Maybe they're just very self-centered. So that's what I have for you, Aquarius. 32 minutes. Um, if this resonates for you, go over to the website, book your own reading there. Go to the community tab on YouTube first, get you a coupon code, a discount code, then head over to the website and book your reading there. Ask a question or two by texting your question to the number below. Um, you can also catch me live every Tuesday, Thursday, and Sunday night, 9.30 p.m. Eastern Standard Time. Yeah, I think that's about it, Aquarius. Thank you. Many blessings to you. It looks like you got a lot of blessings coming in in terms of um, career. I mean, career looks phenomenal. Love for some of you is shaky. For some of you, are you kind of in a waiting period. And for some of you, you're so focused with career, you just don't even give a damn. So this is what I have. Um, I hope it resonates. All links are below if you want to get in contact with me. Take care.